image perfect is the division n m in this speed okay and number 1 victor adrian toscano aguilar lesson of the fine lesson of the fine victor adrian toscano aguilar your purpose. Why are you here in this world? What are you doing with your life? Come this chair, friends. When I was six years old, I was attending school like all the children. But I was the most quiet and the most shy one of them. One day, I was in the classroom, and the teacher had to go out for a moment. Everyone else started chatting, yelling, and playing. But I was the one who preferred spending time writing and drawing. And I remember that I loved to do it on the board. So I stood up, walked to the front, and started drawing something. Then it happened. A classmate stood behind me and pulled my pants down quickly. And everyone in that classroom saw me and laughed. For a shy boy, that was a terrible experience. And that made me even more shy and, and reserved. I remember that I was so shy that I couldn't even say my name when an uncle or someone else asked me. It was sad for someone who is still starting to understand life. And now I want to ask you, have you ever lived a painful experience in your life? Have you ever lived these kind of situations? Because I think it's part of our life. We all need to live this kind of painful situation. But the most important, we must, we must learn something from them. Today, I want to encourage you, number one, to have dreams. Number two, to achieve. And I'm going to share with you three simple steps that will help you get closer to your dreams. And the step number one is, of course, make a list of dreams. When I made my own list of dreams, I decided one day to share them with a person really close to me, someone in my immediate family. I said, what do you think of my dreams? And I got the answer. You know what? To be a successful salesman or businessman, you need to talk to people, be creative, communicate. But you are too shy. You are quiet. You don't even like talking to people. I think you're not going to make it. Again, it was sad that a person close to me was telling me that. But instead of crying or giving up, I realized that I had to work really hard to make a big change in myself. And it's not easy to make changes. But I discovered that I had something really powerful that helped me keep going. A bunch of dreams. So, what is your bunch of dreams? Step number two.
Visualize your dreams every day. It's not only about having dreams. If you really want to achieve them, do as I do. Every morning, when I wake up, after I appreciate and give thanks for one more day of life, I close my eyes and start feeling the enthusiasm and the energy as I visualize my dreams becoming real. And step number three, work with persistence. As Donald Trump says, never, never, never give up. The same has happened to me. You will also are gonna find people and obstacles and someone is going to tell you that you cannot do it. But what you have to do, just keep going. Be persistent and never give up. Because when you follow your dreams, there is no any impossible challenge. There is no any person in the world that can break you down. And there is no anything and anyone that can stop you. Because you know exactly what you want and why. My dreams are making a big difference in my life. Without them, I wouldn't be here talking to all of you. Probably I would still be that shy boy who barely talked to someone else sometimes. But that didn't happen to me because as I grow up, unlike most of the people, I forgot to forget about my dreams. And now I want to invite you to ask yourself, what are the most important dreams for you? And what are you willing to do to achieve them? And remember that everything is possible if you can think about it. So don't lose more time and go for your dreams. One minute for